am Donna Wolf from Nastasia.com. Today, I'll show you how to make my Lunaria round bag. Plus, use a kitchen item to line it and make it sturdy. I'm using two skeins of Karen cotton cakes and an H hook. To begin, make a magic ring, which is just a very loose slip knot. And then chain three. This counts as a double crochet. Now, make 11 more double crochet stitches in that ring. Be sure to crochet over that tail end. Then, pull the tail end to close the ring. Slip stitch. For round two, chain three, which counts as a double crochet. Make a front post double crochet along the same stitch. In the next stitch, on the top, do a normal double crochet. Then do a front post double crochet around it. Next stitch, double crochet on top and front post double crochet around it. And do the same for the next stitch and each stitch around. You'll have 24 stitches on this round. Slip stitch. For round three, chain three. That's our first double crochet. In the next stitch, make the double crochet and front post stitches. Next stitch, one double crochet. In the next stitch, make the double crochet on top and the front post double crochet around it. Next stitch, just a double crochet. And next, that double crochet, front post, double crochet combination stitch. And one more time, a double crochet, followed by our special combo stitch. Continue this around. Slip stitch once completed. For round four, chain three, and that's our first double crochet. Now, make another double crochet. And here's our combination stitch again. Then do one double crochet and then one double crochet in the next stitch. And here's that combination stitch again. You can see the spokes starting to form. Double crochet, double crochet, combination stitch. Continue this around. For round five, do the chain three which is our first double crochet. Now make two more double crochet stitches 
for a total of three double crochet stitches. and our combination stitches. Then one double crochet in the next three stitches. One, two, and three. And our combination stitch again. Continue this around. You can see the pattern starting to form. On round five, we did the three double crochet and then the combination stitch. Each round will increase by one double crochet before the combination stitch. We'll need to work nine total rounds. On that ninth round, it will be seven double crochet followed by the combination stitch. Once completed, make a button loop of something around 15 to 20 chains, depending upon the size of your button. Slip stitch back to create the loop. Now for the handles, start in between the spokes here. I like to chain about 95 for my shoulder size. Slip stitch to the other side. And make one more slip stitch to really secure it. Now turn towards your chain and loosely slip stitch back to the beginning chain. And slip stitch again to the bag. With handbags, I like to secure knots with either some hot glue or a drop of nail polish. Here's the one side. Now, you'll need to make another, but the second one will need a button instead of a button loop. To make your handbag secure and not floppy, I like to either sew or hot glue a plastic vegetable cutting mat to the bag. I'm using an 11 inch plate to trace and cut out a circle. Then I use a hole punch to make holes for sewing it to the bag. You can also use hot glue instead if you wish. The bag edging and bottom is made by starting with the chain 11, skipping the first chain, and making one single crochet in each stitch across for a total of 10 stitches. You'll make 73 rows. The 73 rows will match the edging of the 73 stitches. Line it if you wish. I'm starting at one spoke. It's important to sew the edge of one single crochet row to the edge of one of the round parts double crochet stitches so that it all lines up. And that's how I make my Lunaria bag.